Morning. This is Sky News Today. It's 11 o'clock. The headlines. Energy shock. The biggest ever rise in fuel bills hits millions of households with a warning of worse to come. Wholesale markets are incredibly volatile um, and we can't predict where they're going to go. If they stay where they are, we will see prices go up again in winter. Turning off the taps, Russia vows to cut Europe's gas supply today unless it's paid for in rubles. Another attempt to allow civilians to flee the besieged city of Mariupol, but the mayor says it's still not safe. No more free tests. Most people in England will have to pay for their COVID lateral flow tests from today. And in the pot, to England wait to see who they'll draw in the World Cup, with Scotland and Wales still hoping to qualify as well. Good morning to you. The biggest rise in household fuel bills in living memory has taken place today, dealing a massive blow to millions of families already struggling with the soaring costs of living. The cap on energy prices has jumped significantly, in one stroke doubling the number of people in so-called fuel stress. That means 5 million people now spend more than 10% of their disposable income on energy. And there are warnings of worse to come when bills begin to reflect the effects of the war in Ukraine. Let's take a closer look at the numbers. The price cap is increasing by 54% or £693 per year. So annual energy costs for many are jumping from £1,277 to £1,971. It's estimated this will impact around 22 million households. The price increase is being driven largely by the cost of wholesale energy, which has risen sharply. And it's not just energy bills. National insurance contributions are also going up by 1.25 percentage points this month. And the rate of inflation expected to reach a 40-year high of 8.7%. The soaring cost of basics means more and more people are turning to food banks, as Sky's Lisa Holland reports.